peachtools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools, great to see you here again today. Hey, uh, still seems to be a bit of confusion over this cheap plasma cutter consumable, so I'll do my best to try and explain it to you fellas. As usual guys, remember, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and uh, come see me at peachtools.com. So what I'm going on today guys about is the PT31 consumables and the AG60 consumables like this, or the WSD60 or WSD55 I think they're called, um, depending whereabouts in the world you are. But a lot of you guys are emailing me and, and putting in the comments, hey Peter, it looks like you're touching the steel with your tip. Well there's no choice with these guys, you have to touch the steel. Um, you don't have the choice like you do with the, with the branded stuff, and like I keep saying the branded stuff is a lot more expensive. I'll put some links down below with some other videos about branded stuff and branded um, consumables and the differences. Just so that you fellas, when you're just starting out, you, that you know the difference. But if you're buying these cheap torches here like I like, because they're cheap, like I'm cheap, <laughs> Then like the PT31 is not a pilot arc torch. They just don't come in a pilot arc torch. So what you're gonna have to do is drag it along whatever you're cutting. And like I say, from the emails I'm getting, that seems to be pretty unusual. Anyway guys, I'll try and show you what I mean. Now I don't know if you can see that or not guys. Can you see a gap in between the uh, end of the torch here and the steel? Look, I'm really hard trying not to shake, but you guys, see if you can see the sparks trying to jump across. Can you see that guys? See that went off when I touched it? But look. See that guys? See how it's trying to jump across? And it won't jump across until we actually touch it like that. Do it again. See, look at this guys, I'll try and hold it steady again. See if you can see the spark trying to jump across. You see it? And it won't start cutting until you touch the steel. So it's not a pilot art machine. So you have to touch the steel. That's why I keep saying if you've got rusty steel or something, then you're better off with a pilot art machine. But once you make contact, then you just start cutting. Like that, see? So I know a lot of you guys already knew this, but a lot of people obviously don't. So if you're using a PT31, or like I said, one of these, an SG60, or a WD60, or whatever they're called, depending where you are in the world, then you're going to have to drag it along the steel. But if you're using some sort of other torch, a pilot arc torch or something like that, then the flame will just shoot out and then you don't have to drag it along the steel. That's where um, people are getting confused. And also a lot of people ask me, can you put a, a drag tip shield or a spacer or something on this. No you can't, because the minute you put a spacer on this to hold it off the steel, it's not going to cut the steel because you have to touch it. I'll show you. So if I try and put this wire spacer on this torch, well first of all it isn't going to fit, but uh, Pete's made a little modification here. So I've just got a, um, so what I did is I just wrapped some tape around the ceramic so it makes it a bit bulkier, like this one here guys, and uh, we'll screw that on. And then we can slide our shield over the top of it, like that. See, it, it fits there. So now we have the PT31 with the shield on it like so. Now you watch how this doesn't work. So there's the PT31 with the shield on it. So that should cut, right? Let's have a go. See that problem we're having, guys? Can you see it sparking? And it's sparking because it's not making contact with the shield. Now if you were to push that down, so all you're using it as a guide to try and, so you've got a little bit more, so you haven't got so much flex, then it will work, but it's not a standoff guide. See like so, and now the tip is actually touching the steel, but you just got a little bit more, but you got a little bit more control because you haven't got so much twist on your torch, see that works like this. But if you want to use the PT31 with a true standoff, then you can't. Because a true standoff is that the tip stands off the steel and it doesn't. All you can use this for is just a, a guide that you've got a little bit more control on your gun. Wow, Pete, that was short for you. Normally you go on for hours. Anyway, guys, that was just a little video for you guys that, that keep asking me, do you have to touch the steel with your torch? 
So PT31 you do, and the uh, SG60 you do, and if you're using a pilot arc torch, you don't. That the standoff guide doesn't work on a PT31 torch. So that's some more useless information for you guys. Same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and come see me at peachtools.com, and we'll see you next time, eh guys? Peachtools.com Peach